we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, 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 Aquarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Thank you for being here again. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what was happening with the Aquarius in the past. We're going to do past, present, future for the Aquarius past for the future. We've got the Queen of Pentacles. Very nice coming out for you in the past. All right, and then in the present, what do we have for Aquarius? Wow, we have the Empress. Okay, and in the near future, whoa. So we got Dr. John, we have the Magician. This is some good energy, Aquarius. The bottom of the deck, we have the the King of Wands here. Yeah, the King of Wands here. Wow, what can we say? All right, so only good things, right? In the past, you have the Queen of Pentacles, so you were like doing a lot of work to establish yourself, to establish your home. Maybe you moved, maybe you're a working mom. You were just working really hard on trying to come up with different streams of income, working on yourself, growth, inside and out, hair, nails, beautiful skin. Maybe you were even starting a new, this is diet or regimen or like eating or what you, the intake, this is vitamins. This is um, really doing a work on yourself uh, from the inside out, uh, maybe even working on your home, buying things for your home, spending time and in your home, spending time with your children, if you have any. Um, or there was, um, you work from home with the Queen of Pentacles too. Uh, some of you could, or some of you were looking for positions where you could work from home. With the Queen of Pentacles, you may have come out of a tough cycle or a relationship where you weren't taken serious. There was no commitment. Someone didn't see your worth and you just had to awaken to yourself into your own self-worth. And you were like, shit, I'm a catch out here. So I'm going to have to go, you know, I'm going to go right. You go left. Okay. Um, so you told somebody bye, or they told you bye, or it was mutual. Uh, now you've come into really knowing that you want and you deserve, um, a committed relationship, more of a commitment, uh, and you're going to get it. If you're in business or business for yourself, or you're trying to establish yourself, it looks like what you're doing is you're doing a lot, okay? Um, because the queens are the doers of the tarot. So you're doing a lot and you are establishing yourself. You have, you're on a firm foundation, firm ground. Um, it's like you're trying to get, get it to a place where it's kind of autonomous, um, where you can kind of step back, maybe even hire help. Um, with the queen of pentacles, it says that this is a, in the past, it was a very fertile time for you. So maybe you were planting seeds. Maybe you were growing something. Maybe you're into horticulture. Maybe you're trying to start your own garden or you have, or you do something with herbs or apocryphy. I always get that wrong, that word wrong. Um, 
but you're really trying to get into learning herbs, plants, uh, flowers, you know, to better yourself, to make medicinal herbs. I mean, it's so many different things going on in the past with the queen of pentacles. Some of you were concerned about your health or the health of someone around you. And so you started to look into, um, also maybe eating habits. Okay. Um, you also were using herbs and crystals and so forth to heal yourself too inside out emotionally mentally physically um the queen of pentacles is good news and business matters too coming up for you with the queen of pentacles in the past so like like the past you were doing so much work you were getting put in laying the foundation um you can you were doing so much work the queen of pentacles says make time for loved ones so you didn't even have time to really really spend a lot of time with your loved ones but um, you were trying to lay a foundation and with the fertility here, it's like you knew this is fertile ground. I need to be planting seeds, I need to be doing. So in the past, that's what you were doing. Some of you may have been like overworking, uh, or, um, yeah, what is it called, overtime. I'm doing overtime at a job if you work at a job or you were seeking to do overtime or you were doing overtime in something that you were involved in. You could have had a side hustle and a nine to five. So. In the past, you were like all over the place, busy, but getting it all done. In the near future, well, the future, well, not the future, in the present, you are the empress. Very good. So it says right now you, you are at a place or you need to stay in a place of abundance, attracting abundance. How do you do that? You can't do, you know, you can't be the queen of pentacles while still, while trying to be the empress at the same time. So you have to be the archetype of um uh, of the queen of pentacles so you have to kind of like pull back you know that you have to be that uh understanding that abundance is an attractive also type of energy it's an abundance so it's a dance that you do with the universe with yourself with spirit in terms of you can't receive um you can't have if you're extremely busy you don't have time for it you won't see it because you're extremely busy. So this is a time now in the present where the universe wants you to slow down because the seeds you planted in the past, they're gonna sprout, they're gonna blossom in your life with the Empress here in the now, in the present. So it says, slow down, take time for yourself. Um, take time for yourself in terms of pampering yourself, um, taking yourself out, uh, slowing down, uh, listening to music, eating, drinking, uh, and enjoying a good, uh, dish, uh, a meal. Um, <clears throat> it just says, uh, this is the time to be in a place of acceptance and, uh, receiving. It's not at a place where you need to be doing, 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 and giving, giving, giving. You just need to be in the energy of, of the dance, the dance that you do with the universe. The universe says, oh, can you slow down because of the seeds you planted in the past? Now we can give you what you deserve and what you work for. But if you are going a mile a minute, you know, if you're so, if you're moving so rapidly, what you tell the universe is that this is what I want to do. This is how it needs to be. And for some of you, it's not going to resonate because some of you may still be in a place where you have to prove yourself to self first and then, you know, to the universe that you, you, um, you can do the hard work. You can work on yourself. So everybody's on a different timeline. Everybody's not in a place where they can, you know, stop and really smell the roses and understand that abundance is with them. It's coming to them. It's there. Um, just reach out and allow yourself to have it. Some of us are in a place where we're still doing. So you know where your life is. You know what you need to be doing. So some of you, you need to slow down because you've done so much. Okay. Or you're doing so much. So slow down with the empress in the and we're going to clarify with the empress in the present now in the near future you have dr john or the magician very good card to have um so in the future you would be the magician so now you get to re rewrite or revise the plan or take matters into your own hand or you're channeling from the divine this just looks like maybe recalibration this looks like a time where you were doing a lot and then the universe said, let us take over Empress with um, the magician here. Let us help you understand how you bring your dreams, uh, your goals into fruition. You're getting like bright flashes of inspiration that can like uh, be nuggets 
you know, to uh, wealth, to sustaining yourself, to having more, to growth. So it's just like, universe said, okay, I see what you're doing here. You also, with the king of wands could, at the bottom of the deck, you could have been in some relationship where it was, you know, you guys were not equally yoked. It wasn't that you wanted the same thing. You showed up as the queen of pentacles. They showed up as the king of wands, whether you're a man or, or a woman or whatever. Um, it just, they're not of the same suit. So maybe there was somebody here in your energy that was just wanting to be in the energy of actively doing, 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 going. And they were determined to, and they were after their desires of what they wanted. And you were maybe actually, you were after having something more committed, concrete, solid, stable, maybe even marriage. And this person wasn't seeing that, or they didn't see that in you, or they didn't want that for themselves with the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. It also says that you are with the King of Wands and um, the magician in the near future. It's like you're going to take action in regards to starting something. So you, a lot of masculine energy, maybe around the new year, taking a lot of action um, in regards to maybe starting your own business, uh, workout plan, um, getting your life in order, being determined. You're going after your heart to desire what you want. So it's like you're really reshaping, refocusing, recalibrating also you know, in, in regards to getting what you want, having what you want, being how you want to be, living how you want to live, going where you want to go, doing what you want to do. So this is um, an interesting energy, but very good cards here, Aquarius. Yeah, I just saw body goals. So some of you definitely are going to say, you know, I'm going to get my body in order, whatever that may be for you uh, in terms of maybe if it's not that, oh, I'm going to, you know, become ripped and, um, you know, all of this stuff where I'm going to you know, get a smaller waist. You may say, I just want to eat better so I can feel better. I want to have more vitality with the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles in the past, it could be that I just want to eat to live, you know. Uh, I mean, I want to live to eat. No, I want to eat to live. Jesus Christ, it's late. I want to eat to live, okay? I want to eat food <laughs> that will give me life. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles in the past. The Queen, okay, I knew it. So you had to separate, okay? So this was uh, you separating yourself from something that didn't really serve you, that wasn't on your level um, with the Queen of Pentacles in the past, especially with that King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. That can stand for any sign or anybody, but it was just somebody where you guys were not on the same wavelength. Was it chemistry? Was it fun? Maybe so, but at the same time, you didn't want the same thing. So maybe you had to separate. You also had to separate yourself from people, places, things that didn't serve higher you because the Queen of Pentacles is about, um, it's the last suit. So it's about the manifestation of. So maybe you, you had come into who you really are. You really are leaning into who you want to be. Maybe you were getting like a lot more holistic and earthy and you know, um, maybe, you know, you were meditating, you were doing things that other people around you just weren't doing. Okay. You might have even had to separate from a mother figure or the mother of maybe your children or chill or child. Um, let's see, what is the empress in the present empress in the present sweet? Yeah. Life is sweet. So now you can pamper yourself. You can, uh, enjoy life. It tastes sweet. It's, it's, it's good. It's um, good for you. You're doing things that are good for you. Um, maybe you've met some empress. You feel like they are sweet or they feel this way about you, Aquarius. You could sing. You could dance. You could do something in terms of the arts. You're creating something from the ground up, from nothing, from an idea. You're birthing something here. You could be coming out of the summertime, you know, in your life, or you could be embarking on the summertime of your life. Now, it is not summer in terms of the season, but the summertime talks about a really blissful happy, fun, joyous, fruitful, abundant time in your life, the summertime of your life. Okay. Um, Dr. John, the magician in the near future. This just looks so good. Dr. John, the magician in the near, I, th I saw thug. I saw no, I saw no again. So some of you may be telling somebody who's like, you know, kind of about that life, kind of thugged out a little rough around the edges. Um, you know, no, it's just a no. No is a complete sentence. They may be trying to come back into your life and you may be telling them no. 
All right, let's see. Yeah, I, I'm seeing con man. Okay, it's a lot of criminal. All right, so um, what is Dr. John? Okay, yeah, if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. So somebody could be trying to come back and sweet talk you, romance you. You're like, no. Yeah, they could be coming um, back to uh, romance you, romance the feminine energy, or this is the feminine energy doing this to a masculine energy. Energy is energy. It could be same-sex relationships. So you got to figure out where you lie on that spectrum. Are you the feminine? Are you the masculine? You may even be having a residential move, um, Aquarius. Um, magic is happening, especially with Dr. John, the magician. Okay? Someone could be angry that they don't know where you live. They don't know how you live in. And now they're coming with the theatrics. Wow. Um, so they're coming, you know, they're a clown, a theater clown. They come in with it, you know, the theatrics, maybe even trying to, you know, pull a, the wool over your eyes, do a song and dance. But the, the first card out was, you know, if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie, Aquarius. And that's where you, what you got to live by. You can't keep negotiating with yourself, your intuition and your logic. If it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. And most times when you go with that, you, you know, um, with that statement, you're, you're right. And it, you know, it allows for you to make a better decision. You, you're not waffling all the time and teeter tottering and back and forth. It just, you know, this sounds like a lie. So I'm, I'm going to have to go with it's a lie until, you know, the person wants to prove themselves, especially if it's someone who has history of lying to you or others. Okay. Um, Let's get you some more energy in terms of maybe who you're dealing with or how you're dealing with them or what's going on here. What is happening for Aquarius? Now, I'm not abreast to all of these cards, but I need, but um, we'll, we'll see what's happening. What do we want to tell Aquarius? Okay, so Uranus, okay? Um, and that's the planet uh, that you're ruled by. So something was spontaneous, okay? Uh, father of electricity. So you rule electricity, Aquarius. And something was like, I don't know, something told you immediately, maybe in your past that you had to separate, you know, and you were just kind of like electric, electrified with just energy, energy to move on, um, just to innovate something new in your life. Um, this also talks about creativity and we do have in the now with the Empress creativity abundance. Um, this was like sudden radical change for you and maybe that separating it was all out of the blue and maybe this is coming maybe even in the near future because we got magic residential moves so um we got like um maybe something coming out of the blue for you aquarius um just spontaneous it was the magic that you put out there uh, we've got cancer coming out so cancer could be significant maybe it'll separate from a cancer the king of wands is aries sagittarius a leo a male cancer so maybe that was for some of you um this is a cardinal energy. The day that they rule is Monday and Thursday. Um, the moon, um, they're highly imaginative, loyal, uh, persuasive. So maybe this is who's coming back in the near future. And they're telling you if it sounds like a lie, it's probably a lie. They're going to try to persuade you. Um, they're very intuitive, sentimental. They can have mood swings. Um, so maybe you're dealing with someone like that or cancer is in your chart. could be significant. Let's get one more for you, Aquarius. Let's see what else we have for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? It looks like the future is bright for you. The past was bright too because you left. Um, so Scorpio, Virgo, we got Virgo showing up. Okay, so Virgo could be significant for you. Uh, Mercury, uh, Mercury is now retrograde. It, it no, it was retrograde. Now it's direct. Um, and so it rules the intellect. And right now you're just being very calm and calculated, especially with this queen of pentacles. Maybe you made some calm, calculated decision to separate from more than one thing or more than one person. Um, the day that Mer that Virgo rules is Wednesday. They're very mutable. So it's like you mutated or you change this negative into a positive here. Um, you could be in bookkeeping. Uh, sometimes you don't express your feelings, not readily, not just you know um maybe you feel like you need to hold on yeah scorpio could be significant for you so pluto um deep dark emotions uh the underworld uh, could be vengeful on the on the um you know the negative side uh ambitious smart um 
emotionally calculated. Also, like, um, yeah, could be very emotionally manipulative. So those signs could be significant to you, Aquarius. Let's get you some future cards and then we get out of here. It looks like your future is bright. You got somebody coming back because you left. You're separated from them. So now they're coming at, coming back as the magician. So they're trying to um, take matters into their own hands, pull you back in. The magician talks about playing your cards right, um, saying the right things, using all the things all the tools before you to get what you want to manipulate the energy all right that's all magic is is manipulating the energy what what is around you what what do you want it to be so now you have to manipulate the energy right so you get somebody in in that you know for their own purpose they're going to try to manipulate the energy let's see what is what are the future messages for aquarius oh whoa okay yeah so you get some older male Mature male coming out. Let's see. What is this about? I'm trying to give you a gift. Yeah. With that magician there. Um, maybe around the next holiday. Um, birthday. Um, yeah. Coming to you. Journeying to you. The 10 card. 10 is about expert. It talks about masculinity. Um, it talks about uh, reputation. So maybe somebody's trying to come to you and maybe have a change of uh, they want to change their mind or change your mind about them or vice versa. You're trying to change your mind, change their mind about you. It looks like somebody is in contemplation about you, maybe sl slipping into depression. Okay. Um, because you're not into the, in their lives. However, they want you in their life. Um, you could be done over with, you know, finish with a situation. Uh, somebody dealt with you carelessly with the mature man uh, or it could have been like a love affair somebody had more than one partner and they wanted you you know to be a part of that um this person could be trying to come back and have things like as they were the status quo they don't want to change uh, they want it how how it was i'm hearing like make it like it was this relationship should have brought you some type of spiritual growth or it could have pushed you to spirituality, pushed you to learn about the Tarot, learn about yourself. It, you know, down the rabbit hole you go, but um, it pushed you to grow spiritually. Okay, so you got two cards popping out. You got union, you got dark nail. Okay, so somebody in some union doing something dark or dark, or somebody's dark, dark skin. There was a union here, and this union pushed you to spiritual growth. Um, maybe push you to see the dark side or the dark nature of someone that you were with you were in a relationship with um maybe what is this about one more card for aquarius yeah it pushed you to see that this person was all talk and no action and that they made you the subject of gossip or are they they talked very negative about you or behind the scenes you had somebody talking about you in your union or you got people talking about how this person is treating you um, because people see it. You know, it's it's visibly, it's, it's apparent that somebody is um, not upholding um, the responsibility of this union. They're just doing whatever they want to do. They could be lying. They could be cheating. Um, and then they got everybody talking about you, um, laughing at you. Uh, they always say they're going to change, but they don't change. You could be dealing with Virgo. Uh, cancer Scorpio let's see true love so you thought this was your true love but all it was was a triangle now um, somebody felt like they could just use you uh, you know because you were available um, you were open to it you were okay with it or uh, I don't know for whatever reason they didn't look at you as serious they looked at you as just side a side person a triangle this could even be that um some you know someone had you in a triangle or aquarius you had somebody else in a triangle here somebody just looked at you as something to do um why am i shuffling this deck all right someone get you some advice and then we'll close out the truth came out about the fact that this person didn't want much from you um they may have been putting on and saying things that they like they did or like they wanted a relationship with you, but they did not. Uh, let's see, what else? 
What is the advice for Aquarius moving forward? Advice for Aquarius move. It looks like you took all of that negative energy and you turned it into, you know, you really shifted it into positive energy uh, on yourself. Started to work on yourself. Started to do for self. Care about self. Uh, focus on self. Let's see. And now somebody wants you back. Definitely could be dealing with a Virgo. You got the Hermit coming out. So it says withdraw from the world, Aquarius. Withdraw so you can learn about yourself. There has been some transition of your personality because you, you've you learned so much and you're changing or you're going to someone and you're learning, going to some guru and they're teaching you about self, um, they're teaching you, you know, how to go to the next level. Seven of Pentacles here with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, harvest is here. You're about to receive. Um, you planted the seeds in the ground, Aquarius. It's time to be in the energy of the Empress. I am ready to receive. I'm ready to activate. I'm ready um, to have all that um, I have uh, planted, okay? Especially with the Queen of Pentacles in the past and the Empress in the now. So you're ready to have all that you have planted in that ground with the Seven of Pentacles. You finish what you started. Um, you know that this is just a time of no activity right now because the universe is maturing you, growing you, and also getting you to a place to receive. You will receive a harvest on your um, hard work or for your hard work. Uh, with the Nine of Cups, yeah, it looks like lap of luxury, um, being a little smug, you know, enjoying a good good drink, good food, uh, good times. Maybe if you're with someone, you're enjoying good sexual activity. Um, Nine of Cups just talks about getting what you think you want. Uh, it also talks about just fulfillment, enjoyment, uh, that wish, that big wish, maybe, um, magic with that residential move. Maybe that's your wish. You want to move, um, all things coming to you. What you wished upon the stars coming back to you with the nine of cups. That's the advice here. It says also stay in the energy of abundance and receiving, stay high vibrational, stay emotionally, um, stable so that you can receive. You have the magician at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius, you are manifesting machine. What you think about, you will have. So make sure you, that your thoughts are positive. Cancel out all negative thoughts with positive ones. Um, it says that you can do it. You can have it. It is yours. Keep going. Don't let up. Don't give up. Uh, universe is with you. You're channeling from the divine, divine white light. Um, you've got good ideas. You understand that true power comes from the divine. Therefore you are powerful because you understand where your power comes from. This is beautiful Aquarius. It just says, keep going. Even if you feel like giving up, even if you don't see it happening for you, understand that the universe is trying to get you to a place where you can actually receive it because you've done the work. This is what I have for you Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the com comment section. Uh, do you have somebody coming back to you, trying to show up? Do you have somebody that took advantage of you, your kindness, your love? You had to separate from. Um, are you in a place of receiving? Type down there in the comment section, I'm ready to receive. I receive. Um, so that we can start to manifest together corporately, uh, all of the Aquarius, each and every, everywhere in the world, okay? And if you want to um, get your own personal reading, go over to the website, um, book there. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at checkout and get 40% off. Um, and if you want to be around like-minded individuals, join the KTMG, keep the momentum going monthly conference call where we talk about all things spiritual and practical in regards to starting, maintaining, or growing your business. Um, and if you want to get on a discovery call with me to see if I can be of assistance to you and see if um, you're a good fit for me, if, you know, if it works out for us, go ahead and uh, schedule your uh, complimentary discovery call with me. All right. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. All links are below. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. Bye, Aquarius.